Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. This is Chris with Accent, and today we're gonna to be going through manual configuration of the Yealink T46S IP phone, specifically configuration with the Voice One Connect Cloud. However, you can use a lot of these tips for any uh, SIP-based phone system or phone service. You can see we've got an unconfigured, right out of the box T46S IP phone in front of us here. We're gonna be walking through the configuration on the phone system side and the phone side manually, and then we'll come back and take a look at our configured phone uh, when it's all done and functioning properly. All right, so let's get started configuring the T46S phone. And first we're gonna go to the Voice One administrative portal and actually set up this extension. So we'll create a new extension here just by clicking Create Extension. Uh, we're just gonna name it uh, Yealink. T46S for purposes of this demonstration. Let's give it extension 103 and uh, we won't give it an email address at this time. We'll tell the system the phone model is the T46G. The 46S is just a newer model of the G, but these provisioning uh, settings will work just fine. We're going to jump over to the phone real quick here and um, we're going to take this password and actually copy it to our clipboard. So we have that for phone setup. And then turn off some notifications on voicemail and save the extension. All right, we've now got the extension set up as 103. We've got a phone username as 103 training. We're going to use that in the Yealink phone setup. So let's jump over to the Yealink web interface now. Log into that phone. We're presented with the status screen. We want to jump to the account. And we're going to enable account one here by hand. Let's just label it extension 103 and display name of 103. Now that username of 103 training is what we're going to use for both register and username. We'll put that in there. And then we're going to paste in that password that we copied earlier. Connect.accentservices.com is going to be the server we're using today. UDP transport, and uh, we like to take the server expiration time down just a tick to 1800 seconds. Hit confirm. Oh, first enable the account, then confirm. And we're registered. All right, so at that point, we can jump back over to the Voice One administrative portal. We can click on this device status icon just to confirm the registration. We do see the phone's registered, and here's the credentials it's registered with. Now, from here on the phone interface, we can do things like uh, configure BLF keys, different extensions, etc. Uh, we're not going to dive too deep into that for this video. We will configure one key here as a BLF just to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to do that with a value of 102, and we'll just uh, say that's the conference phone. That's our extension 102. Don't need to do anything with line one. Ready to go. All right. So uh, let's jump back over to the A-Link phone now and make sure everything's functioning properly. Okay, so after setting up the account and the BLF key, you can see we're back here with the T46S phone and both the account is registered and the conference phone, extension 102, is showing as actually active on a call right now. So we've got the T46 phone set up and ready to go on the Voice One Connect Cloud. A lot more further customization that can be done on this device. It's a great looking phone and uh, well performing. And if you've got any other questions, please give us a call or contact us via our website at accentvoice.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.